So welcome to Montreal. Bienvenue à Montréal. Thank you. Do you know any French at all? Such a small amount. I yeah. took Spanish instead of French. I'm oh, sorry. There's <laughs> some words that are similar, right? Oh, absolutely. But we have a huge Spanish community here. So do you have anything to say to our Spanish community? <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you to the test. Come on. I didn't say I was any good at it. Ah, uh, okay. Muy bueno. <laughs> there you go. Welcome to Montreal. You're here for Oceaga, mm -hmm. and it's such a huge festival. We're here going to watch you uh, perform tonight. What do you like most about performing in these big music festivals here? I like being able to try and convert people like so there's gonna be so many people in the crowd that maybe yeah. have never heard me before right like walking past and then you see their little heads turn mm -hmm. and when they start walking towards you like you got one yes and that's what I like so did you see that because I know you were in Toronto yesterday so yeah. how many heads did you see that you're like I got you <laughs> a lot I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't count them mm -hmm. but it's nice to see him yeah. but then at, at the same time you see people leave so yeah. oh, <laughs> we won't be leaving tonight no I absolutely not, not. <laughs> okay but you've been touring a lot you've been having yeah. a really great success mm -hmm. and a, a really great journey with this so what's been the high so far for you I guess I think just starting festival season like I absolutely love like being in the sunshine like yeah. being outside seeing other stuff as well because that's the thing when it's when I'm doing my own shows it's just it's just my show like where, whereas when it's a festival yeah i can walk around and see other people as well like yeah. green day are playing later so and smashing pumpkins yeah i don't know if i can catch them i think they might be on right now oh you're right they are on <laughs> right now we can listen to them while we're doing this interview but yeah i mean obviously green day everyone is a huge yeah. fan of green day i mean but do you know much about the oceaga festival have you heard about it because you're from the uk right? yeah i'm from the uk i've never I've never done Oceaga before. No, but I mean, did you hear of it and oh, yeah, know yeah, about its reputation? Famous, yeah, yeah, it's huge. Exactly. Course, yeah. So when you were signed to like perform here, what was the feeling like? Just looking forward to it because literally everyone, everyone, all the artists that I know that have talked about it say it's one of the best festivals they've ever played. It is. I know. I it agree. is. I'm, 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 I'm here for it. We're right up there with Coachella. You know, we I know it. So. <laughs> we better. definitely Very know nice. it. Um, so first time in Montreal. No, I have been to Montreal a few I played Il Sonic. Um, yes, coming up. Yeah, I played it last year, I think. And then I played my own headline show here. Amazing. Can't remember where, but I do remember that it was one of the best crowds I've ever had. And I'm not just saying that because I'm hope here not. right now. I hope not. I hope you didn't say that to the Toronto crowd yesterday because we've got a rivalry with <laughs> Toronto. So I hope you did not say the same thing to them. I would never. I, that's a promise, right? Uh, no, but obviously Montreal, it kind of, we always say that Montreal has a very European flair. Would you say that it's like resembles a lot of Europe to you? I think so, yeah. 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 And does it inspire you at all? In what sense? In when you're up on stage <laughs> to kind of like make the beats happen a bit well, more. Well, yeah, like, because honestly, I'm, again, when I say that it's one of the best crowds I've ever had, yeah. that's so inspiring. Like, when everyone's like jumping up and down and shouting and chanting, it like, feels good. It like gives you energy. Like, yeah. yeah. So, when you are traveling, what's the one thing that you bring with you from home, kind of just to keep you grounded? <laughs> I don't know about keeping me grounded, but I always bring my pillow. You do? <laughs> yeah. This really? Is, this is my favorite pillow. <laughs> you can't sleep without it? <laughs> this is my pillow. <laughs> and that's it? Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I also take all my other stuff. Yeah. But my pillow is what Your I take pillow. Them. We've been asking everybody, too, um, who is the last person you called? Last person I called? Yeah, before this interview. Um, probably my tour manager, Georgia, because okay. she helps me live my life on the road. <laughs> we all need a Georgia in our lives, yeah, right? Absolutely. And what's the one thing you do before you take the stage? I warm up my voice. Really? Yeah, so I've got to do that. Okay, how do you... I'm, sing I'm singing the whole time on stage, so yeah. I've got to make sure it's all nice and... Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, we uh, we are so looking forward to seeing you, and we hope that you're going to come back to Montreal. I hope so, too. And we hope that Montreal is going to remain the number one fan and place to perform for you. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Thanks.